just we'll just refresh and refresh and there it is it will copy <laughs> it will copy and then we we check the thingy you click and you click and you just don't stop clicking this until you find out what you're doing and then you go and then you, you, you'll go in here and then you could do this BAM and then you just and you've done it you've won and then you, you put the thing in the thing and then you type out the message and then no! No! Don't be just... Don't be... Don't be doing this. Don't be dropping frames. Why are you dropping frames? Did you... Did you finish it off? With, oh, that's a pretty picture to get... Get a little distracted by the pit picture on the thingy. Then you go, then you like, no. Ho there! Me, am I the ho? How are you today? Hello! Uh, I am a ho. I'm a, I'm a virgin hoe. Just like Mary. Uh, do, do, do. <sighs> that hoe over there on your screen. All right. Uh, I might have a little bit of framey issues. I hope not. I hope I don't. But it, it'll suck if I do. Anyway, let's go. Let's, where were we? Was oh oh yeah like I don't actually remember I of course of course why wouldn't it <laughs> why wouldn't it Why wouldn't it just not? I think go with the bird. I found all fifteen. I didn't have to spawn a single one. Where did it go with the butterflies? With the little baby butterflies. Yes. Yes, I. Oop. Oh man, what does that mean? Oh no. Enderall said it did something and it was scary. It was like, no. If you load it, you could lose stuff. And I'm like, no. So I hope I do not lose stuff. I did get distracted in the middle of looking, and I went exploring the area, though, and I did some, like, some ruiny stuff, and then I went back and got, okay, okay, what is this, why, why is, why game not play? Why 
my game not playing? Try to move some of the recent saves out of the folder. Hold on. What is this? What? What is this? Man, this this is. It's not even necessarily the most recent save that's corrupt, but sometimes that helps. Let me try to. Let me try to load a different one before I start moving stuff. You know. Because that would suck. Do 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 do. Man, man, do 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 do. Load that auto save. Maybe that one. Will. Maybe that one will work. Man, every time I try to go the extra mile and do something, something's got to ruin it. Something's got to ruin it every time I want to do something. Just ignore things. I'm crab walking. <laughs> and ignore what just showed up there. Alright. This is where we left off last time. Oh no, I didn't lose anything. But this is where we left off last time. Ah, oh, my brother Reneus. Poor child. Such a good child. He only wanted to be loved. But the world spat in his face. And when he finally got what he wanted, be normal, to be loved. It was given to him by an evil gemstone made of illusions, falsehoods. I met this young boy. I spent very little time with him, but in that time, In that time, grew a brotherhood. All he wanted was for me to stay by his side and be his brother in this little town of illusions of his. But I convinced him to let down that spell I convinced him that it would be all right. I promised that it would be all right. I told the boy that I could heal him. And he believed me. Letting down his magic. Letting all of the townspeople die as they had. No, nope, not... Don't, don't reveal too early. I forgot about that. <laughs> but 
but in his deformation, his tumors pained him in the real world. And he perished. The gods took him. Because that is where he belongs. At the side of the gods. But the gods hold no power over me. I... I'm a master entropy wizard. And I promised that he would be okay. I promised that I would heal him. And I have succeeded. The boy lives. We have burnt the old body and gave way to the new. Come, you, you will follow me. You will be my brother, Reneus. The rest of you, stay here. Reproduce through a sexual reproduction split off into multiples consume all Reneus the most powerful and we continue our story from there come Come, boy! <laughs> yes! It is time for us to adventure! My brother and me! It is canon now. The tumors... They sprouted off, fell onto the ground, and grew of extra Reneuses. That is not where I'm going. I'm looking for the exit. Where is the exit? It's canon for my game. Ah, yes, I can't wait to see him in the light with the armor that I have gifted him and the sword that I have gifted him. It's all dark and, and dingy over here. <coughs> ah, Reneus. Finally, the light. My boy, my brother, I gave him, uh, what was her name, Adila's sword, <laughs> and uh, what was it they called, the tribunal set, I decided not to give him the hat, because I wanted you to know that it was him. All right, uh, um, I guess I'll do this one. Travel to the old lighthouse. I don't think I can go that way. I'm pretty sure I can't go that way. Do, 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 do. Reneus, 
Look, a butterfly. I know how much you like those. Where did you go? Reneus? Reneus? Where are you? Where did you go? I feel that he left me. Was that bit all for naught? Was that... Was it pointless? Did I spend six hours on- There you are! <laughs> there you are. I thought I'd lost you again. Don't do that. Come. I'm Reneus. He's the Thalmor. Quick, kill him. You shall do no such thing. Hello, sir. Come on, what are you doing? You got a really long leash on you, don't you? <laughs> now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I really did take. I I I friggin' worked like. Six and a half hours to get him to follow me. It was... I... Yeah, get him. Reneus! Back me up! You still have that child flag on, don't you? So you're running and cowering. Oh, yes. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Right? Reneus! You will be a warrior! I will figure it out! will fight like the best of them there you are my boy come I will figure out how to make him into a into a warrior and you gotta you, come on it's thematically appropriate it's thematically appropriate that I could bring him back because I'm all about that entropy. Look at my freaking death lightning. And I'm all about spectralism. I'm a spectralist entropy master. Of course I would be able to bring him back. I just can't get him to fight. Ow. I would totally replace my apparition with him completely. Never use him again if I could get him to fight some. Just get him to fight stuff. Oh my god. Stop it now. I am happy to be able to get to play pewter games. I didn't like... I didn't like not being able to use my pewter. See, it's not just pewter games, though. It's not just pewter games. Yeah. I 
tried to get that before it fell. I, you know, there's stuff that I work on. Of course, after, after working for that six hours to try to get Reneas to follow me around and, and stuff, I was, I was especially sad that I felt like I wasted six hours of my time. And that I would have to wait another week before I... Before that bit got paid off. And I think only one person... At, I think only Bruhawk would be able to actually appreciate it. While I was doing it. Because he's played this game. How the heck do I get around mountains in this freaking place? This area? Is that where I came from? Good God! Am I the most freaking lost person in the world? I could summon my horse. Reneus, I need your power. Does anybody know how to make a child follower attack? <laughs> I've tried everything. That I could think of anyway. It would probably work a lot easier if this wasn't Enderall. <laughs> if it was actually Skyrim instead. Bum <laughs> I forgot just how far of a walk this is whenever I'm not flying over the mountains or climbing over them with a horse. <laughs> to this freaking lighthouse. Give me horse. Gib horse. Reneus. Make sure you catch up, okay? There we go. Oh god. Oh god. I'm standing up. I didn't die from it. Huh. Oh god. Come on. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. Oh. Get. Come on. Get, get on the horse. Come on. Get on. I j it's one of those things where you just need to, like, remove the child flag and they won't cower anymore. But I don't know how to do that. Other than download a mod that's already made and uh, hope that it works for Enderall to make, like, kids killable. <coughs> but a lot of the, the killable kids mods require you to be able to have, like, the Skyrim DLC... And how am I supposed to get the Skyrim DLC for for Enderall?
ねねえI shot two of them for some reason. All right. What was your name? Esme. Esme. Are you ready to talk about your dead girlfriend now? You were mad at me whenever I said she was probably dead. Well, actually, you got mad at me whenever I said she made her decision. <clears throat> I didn't know that you were gonna get mad at me. You still mad me? Still mad me? Are you hanging by a rafter? Don't be hanging by a rafter. Don't commit die. Ah, I was wondering if you'd come. You mad me? Why? This is the old lad house, isn't it? I've been here before. Possible. I found it by accident. But there's something about it. Helps me clear my head. Helps me think. How are you? Good question. Shall we go up? The view from up on the roof is great. Oh, she's totally gonna jump off, right? My, <coughs> look at that. If it weren't for the bone rippers and the bandits, this place would be almost picturesque, wouldn't it? Kara would have liked it. Are you gonna jump I'm off? Sorry. My emotional outburst in that ruin, it was uncalled for. I shouldn't have said those things. Neither to you. Because I, her, her girlfriend committed die in a cult ritual. <clears throat> and she was all like, why would she do that? She, she had everything and it, she was always, she was never happy because she was just a bitch. You stupid bitch! And I was like, well, she made her choice, you know. You can't really do anything about it. <laughs> and then she was like, no! no! And she got mad at me. You had every reason to be upset. I understand completely. You know... Kara once tried to explain to me what it's like to live that black fog. We had just spent a wonderful evening together, and we were sitting on a beach. Not unlike this one. Are you gonna she jump and die? Cuddled, and then all of a sudden, she started crying. I tried to comfort her, but it was pointless. Yeah. She cried and cried. Yeah. For almost an hour. At one point, she told me that she was sorry. She was sorry for being so are sex wife, cults. But there was nothing she wanted more than to be different. But that it was out of her control. The fog. It's always there. And there are moments when it just overwhelms you. No matter how hard you try to fight it. I think she committed dagger heart. She didn't choose to be that way. And she told me that the worst part of it all was seeing how much her suffering dragged me down right along with her. She felt like a burden. Yes. I don't even understand what it is that you love about me. All I do is drag you down. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Now that I'm telling you all this, I understand her. But back then, I just didn't. I couldn't. I'm a fan of the animal cracker cult. How do you feel about what she did now? So now you feel like what it's like to be a burden because you've been burdening me. Her, no matter how she is. And that she never was or could ever be a burden to me. Don't get me wrong. I don't blame myself for her decision. Joining this cult, giving her life. Well, you just it was her choice. Pledge allegiance to the god cracker. But I just wish 
could have somehow made her realize that. And make sure you only eat animal crackers and nothing else. Might have eventually beaten the fog someday. People like Tara can only help themselves. That's the sad truth. I know. But maybe we can somehow make it easier for them. <clears throat> of course. There are still so many And you must you must have sex with the animal crackers. That veiled woman really is. And what she needed Shove people. them in your pee hole. But I'm guessing we won't get an answer to that. Who knows? Maybe what she said was right. And Tara's sacrifice really wasn't for nothing. We'll never know. Hmm. And what now? Well, I'll see. I guess I'll travel back to Kylo, to my clan. If I find a ship that's still willing to cross the Red Sea, that is. Ah, and here. I promised to give you this, didn't I? Well, here's the cool thing about the Animal Cracker cult. Uh, they're definitely not murderous. And they're definitely not a suicide cult. Hmm. Sell it to me. What what happens in the in the in that cult? He's right there. Just just pussy happens. It. Yeah. It's an old heirloom and you should have it. And no, don't Do I get, do I get to turn You risked your life for me. Uh, prospect of loot or treasure. Do I get to I'll plunder? Never. never. Fem boys. <laughs> Bloomin' onion. Thank you. Thank you. How about you, though? What are your plans? There's something important I need to take care of. Why doesn't that surprise me? Well then, I'll stay. Get all the venti gooch I want. Sounds dramatic, but they helped ease my mind. I do, I do like the thought of Vinti Gooch. Hmm. What would this do? Does anybody know what? Why don't you stay on Enderall? I'm on a mission for the Holy Order and we could use someone with your talents would do. <coughs> I have Renaeus. Level 50! Oh my god! <laughs> Level 50. Mm. <laughs> ah, I thought that was Renee's for a minute. It's a desert spider. How dare you, spider? How dare you? Hiding in the darkness. Hello. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have all three of those... Those black gems now. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I haven't I still haven't defeated the Steel Warden. Hmm. 
Venti or De Deluke Gooch? Oh, Venti Gooch. Definitely. Deluke is too manly. I like my boys to look like girls. I have not. I have not finished that egg qu quest. So I guess let's go all the way around. Let's go all over the place. Is that why I'm best girl? Because I'm a real man. <laughs> let's just go all around Enderall searching for for eggs that's that's what this entire five hour stream will be it's just looking for eggs get the four five inch eggs at duneville's supply ship and bring them to kerma hey i'm close to that right yeah yeah i'm already close to there wait it's this way Reneus, where are you? Reneus, I climbed the mountain with my horse and he's gone. Where did he go? I bet if I was to teleport somewhere, he would be with me. It's still going. Oh god. Why did it do that camera angle? <laughs> it just <laughs> let it walk off. I want to be best everything. I want to be the best at everything. Everything. Yay! Dude, get off of it. I can't... Why is this so hard to... Okay, got it. Somehow. Uh, since it's nighttime, I guess all the birds are, f are sleeping, huh? No, 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 I see one. Barely. Where are you coming down, buddy? Where are you coming down? I don't have time for this. Looking at birds, not cats. Stop it, bad kitty. Where's that? Where bird? Burb. God, of course I would be attacked by a panther. For the love of all that is me! <gasps> Burb! Burb! I found you. Hey. 
Two of four, and it's dark. I can't even see them. Two of four. Dang it. Bought an X a dork. You need some fire bench eggs for your raft, Sora. Too bad you gotta find them in the dark. Get the collectible off the boat. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I got a collectible from the boat. Is that collectible an egg? Is it up here? Or is it like one of the magic things? Fragment left ear. Oh my god. That's great. Saw you. See you, burb. Has first person bothered me at all? You know, for some reason... First person in... Skyrim and... In this case, Enderol does not bother me. I think it's because the camera is kind of slow. Like, your movement speed is kind of slow. Or maybe that's only because I'm always wearing heavy armor, which slows me down more. Hmm. I have never not once used a character that did not use heavy armor. Of course, the mage light kind of sucks. I wish that it would just exude out from my body instead of putting a, a glowing orb in my face. Ah. Three. I should have thought to come up here and then look for Burb rather than look up from down below and have to look through a lot of goddamn trees. I, uh, I got tons of friggin' metals and stuff that I'm not using. You know what's better than a glowing orb in your face? Realizing that light spells stack and blinding you. No, they don't. Oh. No, they don't. They don't stack. Maybe in base Skyrim. I've never, I've never used Mage Light in base Skyrim. I always used Night Vision. Night Vision's a thing, right? Or was that Oblivion? They're in both, right? If you have tier one, two, three, etc. Oh yeah, yeah. I never, I never got. This was an illusion magic, right? I never got my illusion very high. And I definitely never put any any points into it. I just take it out. Just replace that. Finding birds' nests. There we go. Four out of four. 
In the dark. I only needed four, right? Uh, Frostcliff Tavern. Farmer's Throne. Where the heck is the Farmer's Throne? Is that the Farmer's Coast? Is that, su is that supposed to be Farmer's Coast? Frostcliff Tavern. Boozy doozy do. Farmer's Throne is on the end of Farmer's Coast. I should have saved. <laughs> I, I feel like I definitely should have saved. Reneas. Reneas! <sighs> Six hours to make a follower and he doesn't freaking travel with me. Yeah, he, he, he's fine. I gave him a sword. I gave him a good set of armor. Trouble, huh? Nope, don't use that. Okay, there's probably one on top of the tavern. Hmm. Burb. Burb! Okay, into the into the floor, into the ground. Gotcha. All right, that's that's sweet. That's just friggin' sick. I, that's tubular, dude, Meister. Gold. Gold. I feel like I'm getting too far from the the vicinity. Where it's like, it's here! It's in this circle. <laughs> One of those burrowing owls. I know those owls. Ah. Peak Dasher Nest. Peak. So I should look for peaks. At the tip of peaks. Because they dash from peaks. Yep. Ow. That's cool. It's cool. Give me up here. There we go. Two. There's a burb! Saw a burb! I'm coming for number three! Coming for it. I'm gonna get 
get your egg. I'm gonna get it. No. No bandits. I'm looking at birds. Where are you? There's one. Looking at birds, you douchebag. Hey, did you know that I have much more mana than you? And, and, I can suck more life from you than you can deal damage to me? I, I had to do it just to, just to prove a point. Ooh, peace weed. I'll take your weed. I'll take that THC. Where bird? I was looking at bird and then you distracted me. Bird. Okay, I know that it's gonna fly around here. Even though it sucks that it's probably at its nest right now. I hear bird. I hear a cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. I'm my little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. Kind of at a loss now that the bird is gone. I think birds stay in their nests way too long. I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop an actual save now that I'm, I've done my bit, I've done my bit in Silver Grove. A funny Gation picture? I don't know what Gation is. Genshin. Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't really get it. Maybe if I knew more about Genshin, I would get it. Bird! Birds! Uh! Oh, oh, oh my god, you're coming back to me. And the water is forcing me to... Oh, of course there would be a nest right there. Get, oh my god, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Ugh. Yeah, we're doing the egg. Three. Zhongli's nickname is Big Dong Zong. And that's what his stone pillar looks like. Oh. Okay. So him having a dong makes it gay. Makes it gay shit. Welcome back, by the way, bugging me. Are you... Are you serious, buddy? Are you serious, pal? I got, like, one more egg for this place, and then I'm off to the farmer's throne. Of course, it'd be easier if it was a little brighter. Does this area even become daytime? Or does it just look like this? I don't have a woodcutter. Ooh, coin purse. I don't have a woodcutter's axe. Maybe I should take this. Maybe I should take that woodcutter's axe. Nah, I never need wood. For nothing. Never not need for nothing. That is a good idea. I forgot that there was an inn. Got that one over there. But what about this one over here? Burr, burr, burr. I already got yours. Dur, 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 dur.
My spectral waifu's thighs. Mm -hmm. Please. Well, Still I don't have a spectral waifu, so joke's on you. <laughs> Another exhausted soul. What do I bear it loves me. It may not be the wonderful. I'll open up the room Something for you. Sleep soundly. <laughs> Sleep soundly. <laughs> Out of my way. Is everything always in my way? My god dang way. Is it up here? Work, work, work. There we go. Twelve eleven AM. I need a good eight hours. A good eight hours at very least, or else there's just, I can't, there's just no doing. No doing. Eight hours or I'm worthless for the day. I say on four hours of sleep. <gasps> Reneus, you are home. You found your way. In D&D, you're gonna make a brothel of very convincing trans women, and it'll need high perception or insight. Well, you could possibly use perception to, like, notice a bulge in, in, like, their skirt or something. Or, like, possibly notice that there's a little bit of Adam's apple or something. Uh... Other, uh, for insight, it would be for, like, I don't know, check, uh, check in, like, uh, a little bit of a, a voice difference. Like, if, if they've gone through voice training or something, you might catch them in, like, a, a, a slight moment where they they accidentally used a, a, a deeper register. You know? Uh, but other than that, I, th that's how I would rule it. Hello, I have my computer back. I have it back, and it's it's Ender all day, and I'm I'm looking for eggs. I got like one left, which I'm not actually looking that hard. I'm just walking back and forth, and I'm annoying myself that I'm not not choosing a direction to to wander. I am back. Eh, it's not up there. They all speak in quartet harmony, so they all sound more ladylike. Okay, well, uh, still stands. If if you wanted to use insight to try to figure out if if uh, one of the brothel la oh, there's one. There it is. I expected it to be over there more because because uh, you know, I didn't find one over there. Ah, all right. Reneus, how do you feel about the cold? I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of it, but I'd prefer that over being in the Duneville Desert anymore because it's so hot there, you know. I mean, you you grew up there. So I I don't know. It's uh it's time to go to the farmer's coast, though. Have you ever ridden a myrid, brother? Reneus, have you ever ridden a myrid? Well, it's about time you did. Well, maybe it could be a brothel slash barber shop. You can get your hair did and then get some snid. Snid? That's all right. Walk blessed, friend. That's all right. Sure. I Where I do? said what I said. I don't I don't regret it. 
farmer's coast, please. Reneus, it's time for your first Myrid ride. It's for your first Myrid. All right. All right. Do you, do you see what this is? Do you see what that is? That's a knee slapper right there. I mean, a, a barber shop brothel is better than a a barber shop slash brothel is better than a pizza place slash abortion clinic. You know, where do they get their sauce? Being cold sucks. People say they'd rather be in a cold place than a hot one. And while both suck butt, you'd rather not feel your body slowly shut down from cold. Yeah, you should put more clothes on. You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full-blown AIDS. Reneus! Did you seriously not jump on the Myrid? It'll be another eight hours before the boy gets to me, but... He's having adventures on his own. And that's good for him, you know. I can't fault him for that. <laughs> Mug someone or steal their skin? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, no. Oh my god, I didn't give him money. No wonder he didn't ride the Myrid. First he dies, and then I forget to give him Myrid money. Oh, I'm a terrible brother. I'm a terrible, terrible brother. Thank you for the leaf gull egg. Hey, look, there's another one. I don't know why I thought I could take care of him. I should have just left him with his dad. He was better off. I found it. I finally found it. I'll take that. And I'll take that. All right, one more leaf goal. Shovel? I have a shovel. I don't need a shovel. Hey, there it is. You have AIDS. <laughs> yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full blown AIDS. Why would you picture being stranded in a cold place? I'm picturing you have a house, or at very least an apartment, somewhere to live, and it's just too cold to go outside. That's what I'm picturing. Then again, you know, being from Texas in the United States, it gets pretty warm here, so... You know, 80, that 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit is not that, it's not that bad around here. But still, I, I say that, I don't know the Celsius off the top of my head, but I say that 75 is like the best 75 degrees Fahrenheit is the best temperature for outsideness. 
Because it's not too cold. It's not too hot. Where is that Myrid? Where did I come from? Where did I go? I don't like the heretical heat. I'm with you. I prefer it being colder. I'm just less affected by cold than I am by heat. I overheat really easily. I wilt like a flower in the desert sun. I'm just I'm just a fragile little flower. Walk blessed. That's a guardsman. Walk blessed. Sure. Walk blessed. Sure. Where to? Uh Western Wall. At least in the cold, you can't die of thirst because you can just drink the snow. If it's snowing. You know, hypothermia, I've, I've heard that it's basically like you just fall asleep. You just fall asleep and you don't wake up. I don't know if that's the if it's the same with with heat you know that heat seems like it would be worse to die from yes because if you just stop Reneus you made it how did you know that I would be here in arc So delirium, dehydration, all that jazz. Also, except for you'd also get, you know, the burns. How about we just don't do any of these things? Doesn't that seem like the best option is to just not do any of them? Oh, egg boy! Egg boy! I've gotten you the eggs that you asked for. Really didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. I thought it would take like five hours. Peak Dasher eggs as requested. Oh, Here, this should compensate you for your efforts. However, he still needs more. Come back once you've found them. This old man design is much better than the original one. Yeah, have some leaf gold eggs. Perfect. Here, take this as a token of his thanks. However, you can put those in your shoe and beat more. it. Come back once you've found them. Yeah, I got you some five inch yes, eggs too. Very good. Here, you have earned this. Now he has them all. Marvelous, truly marvelous. Gertrude will own the skies like a falling star. Many thanks, my sir, and good luck on your travels. I'm just saying, even in this hypothetical, I would be inside. <laughs> My boy, my brother, how are you today? Do you like your new non-illusion body that I made for you? Don't worry, we're gonna put it to work. I'm gonna make a warrior out of you yet. I don't know how, but I'm gonna figure it out. You'll be fighting off spiders and 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 crazy zombies in no time. 
All right, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Elephant. I could do that one real quick. Just, I haven't done just a, a straightforward let's go kill some dude and get a bounty for it quest in a while. Sir. Let me just do that real quick. Oh wait, no, I did. I did the Myrid. Huh. <laughs> I completely forgot about the Myrid being a bounty quest. So yeah, uh, I'm going to hold off on that then. Where even is this thing? I don't even know where it is. Alright, get that out of here. Black light. Yes. It's time Hello. to go to the Sun Temple. Let's do some main quest stuff. We'll do one at an arc later. I'll take Reneus on his first bounty hunter mission. <laughs> Sun Temple. We need a we need a an edited we need an edited uh, title screen. You know how they're they're standing there. Uh, Jaspar and Kalia are standing there. We need to add Reneus to that. I don't know why I did a full 360 there. Just anything but that Tharael mission, huh? Fascinating. Truly fascinating. What just happened? Well, exactly what we thought would happen, I'll wager. The stone connected with the beacon. And what a connection it was. I've never seen such energy, let alone felt it. But be that as it may, half a chicken doesn't make a cake. We still need two more stones. Uh, do ya? Yes. Have you found any of the stones yet? Yes. You were right about Keteron Delgais. He had a son, and... Oh my, that is horrible. I knew Delgais... It's okay! Exactly He's alright now! ...to abandon one's son simply because... I will never understand those sorts of people. But still, this tragedy tells us we were right about our cue regarding the stones. Don't worry about his son, alright? I've... I've taken... Guardianship. He's in good hands. Well, you know, a chicken pot pie is kind of like a chicken cake, but it's a pie. It's not a cake at all. So you think the High Ones are responsible for this? That they spoke through the stone and made Reneus do what he did? To destroy the village and make this boy suffer. That is... perfidious. Truly perfidious. <laughs> yes, he's in good hands! In vain, let us insert the stone. Look, do you see these hands? Reneus? Do you see these hands which have healed you? I healed him! Look, he does not have the... He doesn't have- he's not a tumor face. He doesn't have a bum leg. And I gave him cool armor. 
And a cool sword that he doesn't use. He's in good hands. Look at these good hands. I just want to squish your cheeks. And give you tons of high fives. You're a good kid. You deserve those high fives. Hello. Yes, I have. Oh, by the righteous path. His own sister? <laughs> I'd heard about those names. He's in good hands, oh, truly so good. he must have all state. Fine blade and I ones doing it. I think and I think, but I just can't find an answer. Maybe they enjoy this. At least they seem to when I met them. Maybe. At least we now have all the stones. Let us complete the mosaic. I've accidentally lost him 2.8 of the past three. No. Not accidentally. I did it on purpose. To. To get him some. Some adventuring experience. I gave him good armor. A sword. And let him go hunting. That's fun for a child like him. Letting him adventure. He's never been out of Silvergrove. And now he gets to see the world. Seems pretty awesome to me. What? I wasn't listening. What? The sea of eventualities. I can't feel it anymore. You mean you can't ma cast magic anymore? What could cause that? The beacon? No, I... I don't think so. It's like a veil put in front of my eyes. This doesn't bode well. It truly does not. Shaolin. He's currently trying to raise the barriers. Barriers? What barriers? The ones at the gates. They are meant to magically seal them as a protection against Korak's armies. The walls are nearly impenetrable, but the gates aren't. Shaolin said he would raise intropical barriers to take care of that. Quickly, go see him and find out what is going on. I will secure the beacon as best I can. Go. Oh, right, the army. Oh, yeah. Hey, Reneus, would you like to go fight an army with me? Come, come. I tell you, it won't work. I can't see anything. But why? That just doesn't make any sense. Well spotted. We have to inform the Grandmaster immediately. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think they cared for me being there, just listening to them. Wait, where is this? Use, locate Yuzlan Sharim. It's in arc. Huh. Okay, I'll just follow it then. You know that dude who met me in Lishari's room at the inn? I feel like he's the traitor. He came upon me a little too quickly. I should bring Lashari back. With my almighty powers. I should do that. I should bring Lashari back. I, I talk to dead chicks? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't talk to anyone that's dead. I mean, I could. I think I went into Lashari's memory once and she was a dead chick. Nah, I, does that kind of count as talking to her? Reliving her memories, does that count as talking to her? Hmm. 
I'm trying to, I'm thinking back. Ah, yes. Yes, my apparitions. Do those count? <laughs> they, they, they might count. I'm using the petrified wood now, though. It's rank five. Okay, come on now. What is this? Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, he's petrified. He's got a solid to the touch. No, why would no? He wouldn't eat my dragon. I mean, who else do I really talk to? I mean, okay, Kalia was dead. Does she still count as dead? Whenever she was like, what was her name, Sasha? Before she was brought back to life and had like black demon juice injected into her. What is what is going on? Why why would the not respond? Why would the not respond? Look. I was planning on doing doing a bit where I said I don't talk to dead people. And then the moment that it loaded, I was going to say, Come, Reneus! <laughs> Not loading normal arc. Seems like there's a lot of people who were dead that I talked to, actually. I talked to Jispar. He was dead. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go get something to drink while I'm waiting for this, then. No sense in just sitting here, right? Should I start it over? I mean, I still had a little bit of water, but... Should I reload? Let's reload. Let's... Re Let's reload. <laughs> That's crazy. That's ridiculous. I'm enjoying my animal crackers today. Do you guys like animal crackers? Hmm, another elephant. a little leathery but good good oh a cat I think I think it's a cat is that a cat Uh, 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 uh. Da -da. 
reference the Champions of Norath theme again. Yeah. Yeah. I decided to restart the game. I'll try it again. Oh, the game is breaking now that I've decided to put those three stones in the in the holes. Not that one. Let's try this one then. You can't run from your own mind. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to start doing more save rotations. Don't do this. Don't do that. When's the last time I did a a hard save? Do you think it's Reneus? Is it Reneus's fault? Heartland. Let's check that one. He's too powerful. <laughs> This might be the key, but, 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 I don't see why he would break anything, though. That's the problem. Because, you know, I, I, he was already dead, you know? There's no quest anything that I, that I really need to to worry about. Hmm. Uh, well, now I have no idea how I would kill him again. Uh, clicky, clicky. Well, I'm I'm not in that altered 
arc map yet, though. That's the... That's the big problem. Huh. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Wow! Every single save is now screwed up. I guess. All right, let, let's see if let's see if getting rid of those works. Even when you were attempting to load that save, that's weird. That's that's weird. Okay, so I should probably move my, not my auto save, but that one. All right, I turned some stuff off. Let's, let's try to load the Sun Temple again. Ah, freaking bullcrap. Who cares? See if it fixes it. Getting rid of the followers. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> All right, it should work. It should work. It's okay. I, I figured out a way that I can be happy. Reneus is still alive. You know? He'll probably be right next to me, but he won't be following me anymore. Or at least he shouldn't be following me anymore. <laughs> as long as it loads, that's the... That's the big... The big thing. I may have ruined my entire game for one bit. Was it worth it? I don't know. Was it worth it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I feel so as well. Reneus is alive. And I'm going to name a character after him. In one of my things. Oh my god, I really did ruin this. I screwed it up right good. Right good.
Imagine saving over the pre-mod save. There. I did it. Got anything? <laughs> Uh, we could start over. No, I just need to get the. I need to get to the the things and move the move the move the files. You know, move move those save files and see if I can see if I can you know get the get the stuff. You know. La la la. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's start getting saves out. Whoa, look at this. Look at all these things. Let's start that first. Yeah, let's get that in. Move that. Uh, wh which one you think it is? Think it's the Heartland one? You think it's the... Hey, let's... Let's get rid of the Heartland save. Let's, let's move that one. Right there. And then we'll, we'll load an autosave. We'll load the Sun Temple autosave. Since you said that... Oh, that might actually... That might actually screw that up now. But... If it does... No, nah, we can save this! We can... Oops! <laughs> we can save it. We're doing... You guys can't see it, but I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Doing all kinds of... Let's just turn those back on. How about that? Let's turn those back on. <laughs> and then load, load that autosave. And then I will... I will... Uh, drop Reneus. The oldest autosave we have. Mm. The oldest autosave we have is. Mm, I don't know, actually. Let me start it up again and look at it. La, la, la. Home sweet home. I don't know why this auto saved it hasn't hasn't, you know gone away. <laughs> Uh, I have none in Silver Grove. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I don't know why I feel good about this one. Nope. Ah, oh, man. I really should have, uh... <laughs> I should have rotated saves and stuff. We might be. We might be. Of course, I could always work with some console commands to get me back to where I was in the story. And, uh, you know, boost me some levels. Hmm. Hmm. 
was the Reneus joke worth it? I still think yes. I still think yes. That just means that we get to have another hundred hours of Enderall. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see if that works now. Let's just hit continue. See what happens if I can just hit continue instead of load. All right. Uh, what can I do? I could try to delete Reneus from my copy of the game completely. And then load it where he is not a part of the game at all. Why is this gone? Why is it gone? Do do all right. Da, 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 da. Let's go to this PC. Give me a Windows. Program files, please. The missing items that I gave him? What do you mean? Because I gave him some cool armor? Is that what you mean? That's not the right thing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Why would giving him cool armor be... be a thing, though? Why would that do that? Le, le, le. Le, 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 le. I had a thing that I'm not finding now for some reason. Why is it not on my computer? Maybe it had to be deleted so that... Is there a mod fix for this quest? I don't know. I don't know. Let's look it up. <laughs> 
one main quest ahead. Oh, let's see if the, what is it called? The Black Light Enderol. Enderol crashing Skyrim mod troubleshooting. Ah, uh, that is not. That's not helpful. Do 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 do. do. Ah, uh, okay. Someone else is having this problem. It was from three years ago, but... Delete your autosaves and quick saves. I mean, alright. I mean, I don't have to delete them, but still. I can get rid of those. I was getting rid of my... My non-autosaves. Instead of my my auto saves. All right, auto Steam Auto Cloud. I wonder if that's gonna work or gonna gonna do. It. Apparently, this ha this has happened to other people as well, though. During this specific quest. According to what I've found, anyway. <laughs> Load? Why are these still here? Why are my auto saves back? The heck? All right. There. Deleted. I've got backups now. Yeah. I mean, there's. They're still in there, but they're not. Ha! <sighs> you don't have. I think you had this specific issue during this quest, but it, you did have a couple crashed desktops. And a couple of quest scripts mess up. Where am I grabbing the files from? And have I relaunched the game? I did after I got rid of them. And I was grabbing them from the saves folder of Enderol in my games. My games Enderol saves. <laughs> Maybe it's from the... Deeper. I must go deeper. Common. All right. No, 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 no. It's fine. 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 I was level 50. So, with some console commands, I can just get rid of everything. Uh... I get, I can just get rid of all my saves. We start over and I just console command all the crap that I that I had. 
and and I and I like finish a bunch of quests. Or I can use Bruhark's file. Okay, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. <laughs> hey. Joke is still worth it. Joke was still worth it. It's all that I know. And sadly, I will no longer be called Nigel, Nigel Thorn Bussy. But should be fine, right? <laughs> I have that quest save. I have that quest save. Or Bruhark has that quest save. <laughs> oh well i thank you very much for for letting me use these i'm just i'm gonna load the one that you already sent uh well i'm gonna try to load it see if it see if it works with all of the the crap no longer in there One joke. I... Just one joke. That's it. It's all it takes. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna load this one to see... To make sure, just... Make sure that it'll actually load. And not just crash. In my defense, during the six and a half hours I was working on making Reneus a follower, I was really tired. <laughs> I got really tired at a certain point. All right. Well, I can get in there. <laughs> we just sit on their asses and hope things settle I'm in here idiots. let's see what you got 58 Jesus that's a lot of pennies soft data <coughs> there it was. Excuse me. And you've got so much carry weight. Good grief. Good gravy and all of this stuff. Thank you. Thank you for the blesses. 
Ooh, yeah. Cool. I always liked this one. This was always my favorite in Skyrim. You've got so much stuff. How do you have so much stuff? Oh my god. And everything you've got is so much better than mine. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at all that. I was using the Petrified, and you're using Marksman, Nameless Soul 5. Well, tons of stuff, of teleport scrolls. All of this stuff is a lot cleaner than mine. I'm, I'm like full of everything. All right, well, I'm I'm 8 levels higher now. Psionic stinger. Well, look at me. Now we get to do a let's watch of the quest I skipped. No, we can't do that. Jeez. We can't do that. All right. Bap, bap. I feel like I'm not the exact same. <laughs> of course I'm not, right? Uh, but... I'm getting my favorites. Protection from magic? I never found that. Well, eh. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, let's... I can't look at it. No. It's not as if I didn't tell them that all I'm trying to look at the <laughs> I'm cool with being a chick. I'm hitting A H and I'm not seeing the stats though. Hitting the H. Oh my god! Look at all this stuff! It's cool. Get over the box. Just drop a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make it over. Uh, to anyone who wanted an unsullied. <laughs> well, I kind of set for everything, huh? I'm still going to play this the exact same way as if I had never lost my my crap. There's just going to be a lot less uh, frivolous stuff going on now cuz I don't know I don't need to do a ton of I don't need to do a ton of I, I tried meditating. Yeah. 
I don't need to do a bunch of running back and forth and and uh, getting new stuff. Like upgrading my light magic. Oh man, light magic is probably not that great now. But that's cool. I still thank you for letting me borrow your save. Well, I guess it's not borrowing. But letting me have your save. Meditate. I forgot that. I feel like this is not... Oh, there it is. There's the pretty lights. There they are. Ooh, you got... Hey, look, yours actually lights up. Why didn't mine light up? I mean, that's basically the exact same. Uh, now alchemy. Well, hey, we get to try out some werewolf stuff. A little bit of light magic. Earthamity. And working on... Working on getting some tank stuff. Alright. Ah, there we go. There we go. Psionics. And enchanting. All right, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go completely with uh, your stuff. Get life absorption out there. Sorry, life absorb, you're not worth it anymore. Death breath, eh. Since I'm not gonna have life absorb, I don't want death breath. But we can do we can do some psionic stuff now. Yeah, we're we're doing we're gonna just go straight to for psionics. And we get to finally see what psionic push does, like super, super leveled. Psionics and... Apparition is good. And because I want to try it out, again, thank you for this, I'm going to call it a hunt. That is not transforming. Deals 90 entropy damage to the enemy in front of you and pushes them back. How do you turn into a werewolf? <laughs> it's a potion. Ah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna use this stuff. I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna adapt. I'm a neural net processor.
a learning computer. Ah. Ah. Okay. They always go too easy on the sun. Now, but now I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Wow, that's an old quest that's not done. The Butcher of Ark, you have nine of ten volumes? Hmm. Surprise, after getting th the three gems, they want you to find a starship. Okay. That's fine. Is that all that I missed? Because that's not that bad. If that's actually all that I missed, then that's really not that bad. Uh, let us do... Is this timed? It says in two days... Oh, that's kind of lame. That's lame. You murdered my friend just to be a murderer. Okay, so... Let us go get... Let's go find... Travel to Starship Main Factory, and that is close to Duneville. Close to Duneville. I want to use a Myrid with your with your lady, just for the fun of it. I missed the Siege of Ark. Well, apparently it wasn't that great. If, if the OP Brewhawk doesn't, doesn't remember it, it's apparently not that great. It's not just me, it's darker in here, right? All right, army comes up, you get up those shields they mentioned, and the army goes, well, crap. <laughs> it just, it just leaves. I think the Thariel quest line is complete on this file. So you don't have to worry about it getting spoiled for you. I just thought of it. <laughs> I just thought of it. Nigel Thornbussy made a joke about a dead kid and he got canceled. Now Blue takes his place. way to take off the backpack right I forget because like, I don't I don't remember having a backpack on anymore on my character this backpack looks awful <laughs> uh, wait, 
West. Yes. West. Let's see what you named your horse. I'm not allowed to call your horse. Did I accidentally put it in the storage? No. Wait. Radu? L. Nah. I'm not gonna do that. You worked hard for this backpack. It's got a little flag on it or something. Ah! This is Blue's backpack. I can't just... Oh, it's a poorly rendered axe. I can't just take something from her. It's okay. We can do it. Wait, oh, 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 we can do it, there we go, oh, 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 Conjured Guardian? Uh, I don't need to fight you. We're good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, stop. <laughs> that there's a mountain horse. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive. Yeah. I'm so strong. Can you believe how strong I am? More man. Uh... You how how dare you come back? Excuse me. Go away. Wait. That's psychosis. That's not that's not push. <laughs> Go away, please. Hmm. Uh, I'm a little let down with psionic push. Oh, there it is. Psychosis three times and then push for max. Uh... I just felt like push would, you know... Push farther with more, with more psionic. Like, I wanted people to be, like, flying through the air. Hello, randos. Ahoy. Prophetess, it's good to see that you're here. Just follow the hallway down to the Prophetess. That starling man is on the ship. Or whatever you want to call it. I you did a good job voicing this character. I just don't see the fucking point. I 
He really cared. Ooh. Ah! Think your apparition knows that it's not you. Just tried to push me off of a cliff. Okay, I can do that. As long as I get to ragdoll people all over the place with psionic push. He knows. He's metagaming. Just look at that thing. It's unbelievable. Interesting creatures, really. With enough of them, we could build another sun temple. Huh, probably. Still, it would be better if we used Stop the machine it. to keep those Neramese fanatics out of our city. Trusting in the seal of a Neramese sinistricist. It's naive, if you ask me. Nah. Well, you can't say that it doesn't, right? Sinistropes aren't bad. What are you talking about? Just the... Is this oh, the guy? You. We were told you'd be coming. You're from Nerum as well, aren't you? I am. Why do you ask? Just curious. They say the Starlings and Anku have built. I'm not changing ship. the voice. Did you know that? I'd really like to know if they've made it to the heavens. It's a fascinating piece of technology. It truly is. If only Lushari could see this. If only Lushari. Well, I just don't need to pick up any spell books anymore, do I? I feel like I don't need that. I feel like you probably have that already. Tube with a circumference of three fingers length. And does this look like You're short. three fingers length to you? Well, well. You are the one everyone is talking about. Kermai Kazor Tatakajep. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Are you Naramese? Thanks. I was told you needed help finishing your, uh, ship. Material, not help. To be honest, with all those brutes hammering on Gertrude right now, he is more concerned for her well-being than for his own need to be helped out. Gertrude. Ah, Gertrude. That's her name. It expresses both elegance as well as dignity, don't you think? And old lady this. In her embrace, we will find the ancient fathers. Not disagreeing with you. It just makes you think of old ladiness. I see. But you will take us on your expedition as soon as Gertrude is ready to fly. That's the deal, yes. Even though he wonders what you hope to find up there. Anyway, enough talk. They say you are quite skilled in finding things. And there are things that need to be found to finish Gertrude. Sakabaku copper alloys and a Pyrian crystal cube. Find them. The sooner the better. Well, I'm sorry that I'm I'm stealing your your girl's thunder here then. And I thank you once again for for giving me this as a backup since I was too stupid. Wait, this is Kermai. I just noticed this is my egg bro. I see. Where am I supposed to find these things? Well, that's the challenge. The alloys can probably be found in one of the old starling mines in the Powder Desert. The Crystal Cube. That's a bit more complicated. But as far as he knows, Me neither. you might find one in Thalgard. In Let's the stay in the dark the together. There was a famous starling tinkerer working under Dalmarak. And he must have used similar cubes in his work. Mm. Here, I'll mark both locations on your map. 
Please don't die. That would be most unpleasant. Ah, and one of the arcanists was so kind as to put a teleport rune in the cave. So you can use this scroll to return here. And nice. Use him. There's a lot to do, and Gertrude does not like to be kept waiting. His thoughts exactly. Now bring him a new one. Chop, chop. Well, any luck? I haven't started yet. Uh, I bet if there's any change at all, it's just, oh, it's my, it's my friend. You helped me get my eggs for Gertrude. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I'm going to just turn that off. I like to have one at a time on. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I was wondering why Gertrude sounded familiar whenever I, whenever that dude said it. kind of cool that he he's talking about Gertrude before you even get here with that egg quest a little bit of a little bit of foreshadowing maybe or I'm just completely misremembering that egg quest and he never foreshadowed at all and never mentioned Gertrude but I think he did I'm pretty sure he did Ooh, more. Like I need more. Jeez, why are you so rich? How did you get that much money? Did you just not use the bank? Hey, Tom. I'm not hay, but welcome. I am wheat. It's a different type of grain. Alchemy pays. The bank is generating max interest. Oh. Alchemy if you want to have tons of money. Gotcha. Uh, you almost got pushed. So, Laruta, how are you today? Prophetess, it's good to see that you're here. Just follow. I'm not gonna take the armor off, but uh, is is blue hot? Does she have scars? Is it like blood, guts, and pus under there? Are you Knight of the Living Dead under there? Ah! Just kidding. Don't hit my horse. Three. Boom! Yeah, Ragdoll! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah. El. Como estas, El? Mi nombre es Azul.
Psionic Push has a little bit of wind up on it, don't it? I'm just gonna leave. Mantendus de Escribo in Casayano. Wow. I I don't actually know Spanish. I took Spanish in in uh, in high school and I have never needed to use it since. So I apologize if you think that that I can actually speak more than what I spoke. Intendes is like no, right? Like you know. No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I was just making a play on the fact that this horse is named L. That's that's what I was going for. Is the horse is named L. Your English isn't that bad. I think you're doing great. I can understand you whenever you write stuff in English. I always wanted to learn uh, different languages, but it's one of those things that I I can't do without I, I this is gonna sound weird but I can't do it without a reason uh, and in high school that reason was supposed to be oh I have to take a language class I might as well learn a language that I want to know and then you know teachers don't care about their job and and don't teach you nothing. I had all three gems, right? Uh, yeah. The the five black gems. And I had Reneus. Such a good boy. He's so good. Too pure for this world. Too pure. What does Psionic Stinger do again? I'm gonna use it. Nice. Oh, well that was that didn't take too long. Psionic Stinger is kinda barely anything. Oh. Let's just just do that. Ooh, more gold. Like it matters. Wow. You were just... You were super strong. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, that's man. Man, it's man, it's man. Got a hundred sneak and seventy-three marksman, and you're using one-handed and doing good. Ooh, you said the bad word. You said the poop word. Ooh. 
Oops. Oops. I am completely thinking that I'm using other stuff from the old save. From the old broken Reneus save. Aw, oh, Reneus. He's such a good boy. I miss him already. What is this? Oh, counter. That's what I'm using. Oops. Let's put that back on and that back on. Come on! Eh. 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 Stop it. We must. Ow! The heck, bro? Stop it with your. With your craziness. I am a lady, all right? I will not allow you to treat me this way. And as a lady, I am a gold digger. So I must find as much... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I am a lady. You don't think I'm a lady? I will prove it to you right now. Oh, it's just right there. Look. I am a lady. Ooh, sexy lady. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Opa Gangnam Style. Saint Germain B. Thank you for the follow. I'm a true lady. What, what you trying to say about true ladies, huh? You know, all I hear whenever you flap them gums of yours is Muppet talk. Muppet talk that sounds like big it, 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 with your true lady talk. You found the one with the main quest I was on. I'm a little tempted. I am a little tempted. But if you told me what it was, you told me, and I believe you. And going back that far would just make me want to bring Reneus back again. I can't go through that again. I can't do it. I can't do it. Welcome as well, Saint Germain B. How are you today? Where was I going now? Find a Pyrian crystal cube. Mm. Ah, 
that's pretty far. The Sunfire Falgard. Myra Tower near Whale Watch. Or, let's see if you got any. Well, I guess, let's see if I got any now. I don't. I don't. I'm a kind of, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a don't look back kind of guy. I look forward. I'm in the present. I, I'm in the now. Ah, and right now there's too many Panthers. Why can't I attack from the hoof? That's not the, that's not the get off of the thing. Uh, yeah, take that and one of those have, I want to shoot you. Marky Mark. Nameless soul. It says Mark. No, get over here. You loser. Need a sword to attack from. Oh, you can attack from. Well, darn. After I gave up all of them, except for the arrows for some reason. Should have taken the, uh, what was it, the, the, the Dawnbreaker? The one that's, like, good against undead and makes undead things, like, explode in blue fire. Love that thing. It's so cool. It's just super duper cool. Is it that way? Climb up the trees. Well, it said that it, it does stuff to undead whenever I was looking at it before. We can do it. Yeah. Indian. Oh, Olga. Back up. Eh. Eh. Yeah, straight up. Go straight up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's just so fun to just glitch into the wall. That's the whole reason that I try to climb mountains like this. Wow, I lost it. I lost it super hard right there. That's too steep, I guess. But what about over here? Is this too steep? Poor horse. With a big old ice shard just sticking out of its tail. Look, it's... Yeah, we're flying. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Why can't you do it? Rocket launcher could have did it. Rocket launcher could have flown up the <laughs> this mountain on rocket powered horse feet. It looks like it's going to do it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, 
Bring a tree! Bring a tree is in my way! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, yes! There we are! It's smooth sailing from here. To the peak. Perched like a beautiful gargoyle. I don't want it to... There, let's have a new save. <laughs> no, why are you like this? I'm not pressing that way, you bitch. Horsies are hard to control. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Going around mountains is for chumps. Real winners go over the mountains. Like Superman. There more in my way. There's more mountains in my way. Oh no, I can I can jump that to the next mountain. Uh Why are you I'm pressing to the right. Why are you going left? I can do it. I can jump in. Oh, just... Oh. You gotta wonder how the horse feels having their hooves slant in unnatural anger angles so their riders can walk along steep slopes. This is a mountain horse, okay? You ever seen that movie about mountain horses? They're fine. Yeah, we're almost there. Ooh, I don't think I can I don't think I can climb that that bit of mountain. <gasps> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore park horse. <gasps> I'm alive. I'm alive. It's fine. I'm alive. I'm alive. No, I died. Thank you, L. We're almost there. <gasps> oh, dear. Shortcut. Shortcut.
Yeah, I agree. I thought to myself, you know, I don't have to have just drawings as emotes. I kind of forgot that was a, that, that was an option that you could have like pictures as emotes. So I was like, what would be a, a, a cutie patootie picture witcher? I cannot see. Oh my god. I also can't aim. Yeah, but the problem is nobody knows about that. No, nobody, nobody watches those. They don't know who Mateo is. If they did, I would be like, yeah, yeah, I'd do that, but nobody knows who Mateo is. All right, I have a, a question to the fellow Skyrim and Enderall players. Just Elder Scrolls players in general. Do you feel like there should be more weapon variety? In these games. Because I feel like there should be more weapon variety. I feel like spears should be a thing. Or crossbows, you know? Wow, that just that just sucks a lot of damage. I don't even need to actually Would you come down here and help me? I have no idea who that is either. Or that baby. It looks like a baby. Why is there a baby emote? Yo, j making it to where swords, axes, and maces do different things is is still weapon variety. And I mean just, there, sh there should be weapon variety, like, all across the board. Morrowind had spears, and Dawnguard had crossbows? Dude. That's awesome. To Thalgard. Through here? What does that do? Oh, it drops. I mean, it, uh... You kind of you kinda have... A... A weapon that you could use for spears. Already in Skyrim. Uh, it's the uh, the staff. Whenever you cast something with the staff, you you jab forward, and it's not that great, but you know, just speed up, speed it up a little bit, and and you can. And and put a pointy end on the on the staff and and you basically made a spear. Hmm. 
that's gonna go the opposite way. Uh, I know this. I'm I'm gonna guess it's not a repeating crossbow, right? Man, he's just chilling. Like something that could shoot more than once before before needing to reload. I wonder how hard it would be to make one of those. Hmm. Well, I would... In order to make a repeating crossbow, I would make it... I would make it deal less damage. I don't want gun mods. I, I kind of want to do it myself, but at least that means that I know that I can do it myself. Am I just looking for a... No, I need to get into a place. Ah, there's the stairs. Because I just, I want more weapon variety to for people to choose from if I am to make a mod for Skyrim. Yeah, you, you gave me, you gave me hope. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to think of, like, classes, but maybe I should work on... Jesus. I am not good with psionics. I can't hit nobody with these things. Thank you for that auto save. I don't remember taking it off. Maybe I did on accident. Was it? Mentalism. Or no? That was light, right? Protection from magic. That's what it's called. Protection. You have the... I would like to see it, at least. What is the master entropy one? Death storm! Also food. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good thought. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how computer, how CPU heavy this mod that I'm, that I'm wanting to make is going to be, but, but it might actually end up being too CPU heavy. It wouldn't be an open world though. Well, it, it, you'd, you'd be able to go wherever you want, but it would have, like, pathways, you know? Like, rooms, or levels, and stick. Holy crap! Uh, having an apparition is not good for this spell. Sunborn one. So Sunborn are Skyrags. Just get a, a big old foosh. That's what this is. A big old foosh.
Yeah, that doesn't really work very good, though. You're probably getting some buffers because of Deathstorm. Deathstorm is crazy. It doesn't feel that good to use, but it's cool looking. Oh, really? Ah, what? How long does that last? Is it... Longer than... Hold on. Two hundred and forty seconds. Okay, wow, that's... Pretty long time. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, take that. And that. That's... It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> However, psychosis is really good. Let's just make everything bleed. It's basically what psychosis does. It's probably psychic damage more than that, though. You're bleeding your psyche. You're bleeding your mind. Mind bleed. Soul gem peace, soul gem peace. Soul gem, soul gem, soul gem peace. Return the items to Kermine. Other than getting here over the horse, this was easy. Is it because her hair is blue? Is that why you named her blue? <laughs> you know... Reneus used to do that. Just pop up behind me. Big brother misses you. Hey, Kermi. Kermi. I'm back. I've got you your cube. Walk blessed. Kermi. Well, any luck? I found the alloys. At least I think so. Perfect. That's them. Good work. You were right about the cube. It was in the old room. Ah, he thought so. Very good work. Your reputation is well deserved. 
And that would be everything, right? Yes. He didn't expect it. But you and your order have been of great assistance indeed. Give him one more day and Gertrude will fly through the heavens like a fairy. Ah, and you should go to the captain's cabin before you leave. Your Grand Master arrived a short while ago, and it seems he wants to talk to you. <laughs> I'm glad. You were there on Half Moon Island, weren't you? Why would that Korak do such a thing? I like it whenever people enjoy my impressions. Well, welcome back on your phone. Prophetess, have you found the missing pieces? Yes. He said the ship would be ready to fly in a Good. day. According to Kurmail, your journey will last two days. I've instructed him to first head for the Nexus Tower. According to the Starling writings, this is where the ancient fathers kept all their knowledge. The heart of the Star City, so to speak. Ah, you will not be traveling on your own. The mercenary, Sakaresh, Magistra Yaela, and her adjutant will accompany you. I expect you to be back at the temple in one week with knowledge about the Numina. Will Ark withstand the siege in the meantime? As long as Sharin's barriers are holding, yes. However, we should not rely on them. Oh. Making me all self-conscious. Don't do that. Good. Where are the others? They will be there when the ship leaves. Before you go, however, I suggest you return to Ark to properly equip yourself. Who knows what you will be facing up there? I mm, no. Mm, I'm gonna mm, no. I'm not gonna. I'm mm, no. Mm, no. See ya. I'm not going on like a week journey whenever I have like a dude waiting for me in the pits. How do I get out of here? How did I get in here? Ah, there, that's how. Ahoy. You, I don't want to be nosy, but is it true you were inside the memories of a dead Korean? That is incredible. You dare speak to me with that haircut. Don't even speak to me. What flesh? Uh, let's see. I have to go to Ark. Yes. yes, the Undercity. The Undercity and Ark. So that I can meet in the uh, Guzlan in the dust pit. We don't need those. We don't need those extra features windows. All we need to do is be able to see through you and put up some blinds. Freaking computers. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, baby. I'm happy that you're back. I was lost without you. I had nothing to do. Why am I walking? Why am I walking to Ark? Oh, 
But why walk like 500 miles whenever I can teleport? You know? Why? Why do? So do. And I don't have that much time left. I had like two days. Good, good. Vote for me. Hear my words, oh, half the fighting people of this holy city. To many of you, the situation this city is in might. Do you have? Do you own this? This house over here? What did you name it? Refuge? Well, it's already more decorated than mine. Much more decorated than mine. <laughs> mine was just a... And the fancier house is Bastion. I like that game. Bastion is a good game. Supergiant makes good games. I think they were called... Oh! Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah, you can't put the lingerie on. Lingerie. Cannot equip this item. It wouldn't have looked as sexy on this character anyway. Bastion from NeverEnding Story. No, it's a video game. There's a video game called Bastion. It has a wicked awesome soundtrack. And it's fun to boot. 11.30 a.m. Wait, am I still waiting for this, this two days to pass? I'm not, am I? Nothing. I guess I am still waiting for that two days to pass. Good sleep now to me. Sleep. Sleep. Don't think you can rewatch re that movie now? Why? Why not? Is it because the horse dies? Is it because it gets sucked underneath the sand and the mud and it drowns painfully? Is that why? Yeah, I wouldn't want to watch that either. I don't want to watch that. That's sad. When the whole world is eaten by the nothing? I don't remember that part. I remember a good ending. I remember it being a happy ending. Yeah, dust pit!
stupid little girl. Doing your cartwheels. I bet you would fight as a follower. Where am I going? Dust pit. Well, it doesn't matter if it got eaten and then happy ending did. What matters is if it ended after the world got eaten by the nothing. It's not a sad ending if it immediately retcons it like two minutes later. Ow! My you... Damn. Freaking shadow box! I'm walking here. You can never have them back. What are you gonna cry for me? Cry! Come to bed. Hey, it's that guy. There you are. Very well. Nice place, isn't it? While the Neremis are in front of our gate, the people down here are bashing each other's heads in, and the crowd is cheering them on. Hmm. You have an ethical problem with pit fights? A sinistrope? I don't have a problem with it. I don't care what people do down here for their amusement. Be that as it may, I finished reconstructing the planeswalker. It was expensive and arduous, but the result turned out better than expected. Good, where is it? In a safe place. Come along. From the upper city, huh? You got guts walking around with all that stuff down here. I am just I'm so so tired. I'm just so tired of people just walking up in my face. And Where did he go? Oh my god. He just went somewhere. My damn. What? Oh, I was trying to punch a dude because he was My he was giving me lip. Damn. You look as though you have a kind heart. Please spare a penny for me. My my damn. You look as though you have a kind heart. What if I was to just throw like 500 pennies into the floor and say, There are 90,000 more somewhere in this cavern. Only one of you can have one. That's cool. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wish I could have the companion that I want. Taking forever. Why are you just power walking everywhere? You're not running. You're not walking. You're you're like a mix of both. You're not even jogging though. You're just power walking. Can you feel it in your glutes? Can you feel it burning? Ugh. Ugh, my glutes is burning. From the power walking. Uh. 
That's one of the things that people need to steal from The Witcher 3. I've never played any Witcher War. games. After all these centuries. So I have no clue what what you are referring to. Zorkbon Cellar, eh? Yeah, you can deal with it. They come creeping from every corner down here, don't Give me Double Fist Psychosis. The planeswalker. A cube? Your knowledge of geometrical shapes is truly impressive. No, it's more than a cube. You'll see. Huh. And this thing can transport us to other realities? Correct. But in order for it to do that, we need to activate it first. See those three crystal fragments worked into the casing? Yes. Is this the ether crystal? Well, observe. Essentially, the planeswalker creates a distortion in reality. Imagine the following. When you cast a fireball, this fireball is coming from another eventuality, correct? Accelerate if a double fist is your double your pleasure, what is a double While throat? This, there's a brief moment in time where the door between this eventuality and our world stands ajar. Got Good. it. The problem is that this rift normally exists for only a split second. And this is where the planeswalker comes into play. It maintains the rift the moment we create it. I'll double throat you. In other words, we need to cast a spell to create the r a rift, and then the planeswalker will keep it open? Yes. I will cast a spell, but I will need to borrow from your strength. You'll see why. All right. When do we start? Once the rift is open, we'll only have a limited amount of time, so three things in advance. First of all, according to Dalmaric, planeswalking is extremely dangerous. Jace and Burder? How come? Well, he thinks that an eventuality recognizes irregularities after a certain amount of time and corrects them. In other words, massive arcane fever and a brain hemorrhage. So we'll have very little time over there. Secondly, the further an eventuality is located from our strand, the less time we can stay in it. Realities in which Vin doesn't even exist would correct us the moment we step through the rift. Yeah, I'm not up on. I'm not up on my su my my super cards. Are they called planeswalkers? I think they're called planeswalkers. And you counteract this correction somehow with Ambrosia. I doubt it. Trying to counteract an eventuality with Ambrosia is probably as helpful as putting a warm compress around your neck after someone has decapitated you. Right. So how far from one's eventuality can you go? How should I know? One would have to experiment to find that out. And considering what's at stake, I think that's a bad idea. Understood. Well, what else? Let me put it this way. I'd actually prefer to go through the rift by myself. But knowing you, I doubt you'd stay behind. No, I'll Don't totally you. stay behind. You can go in all by yourself. Once we're there, please don't follow me. Look around, explore the area, do whatever you feel like doing. But let me carry out my task in peace. Please. Well, the secrecy. Just tell me what it is you're planning to do over there. Uh, it involves a person who was once very important to me. Are you satisfied? Or do I need to pour out my whole heart to you? All right. Good. Now let's waste no more time, shall we? Here, take this and cast it at my command. Do it from... Mm, wait. Yes, from over there. Let's begin. I still feel like he's the, the traitor who killed the Shari, though. So... I don't really care that he's, he's away with his death flag. Rush. It worked. I 
the name of the sun. Strange place. Into the foreign eventuality! Why are we doing this? <laughs> we just dimension hopping? Not even Doctor Who does that. I mean, he's done it, but... He doesn't do it. It worked. It actually worked. <laughs> Where are we? Here we are. The Siras Island. A few miles from the shore near Al Rashin. You feel it too, don't you? The fever? Yes, it's different, isn't it? More intense. It is. It must be the eventuality trying to correct us. That's what Dalmaric said it was. In other words, the clock is ticking. What now? What are going to do? Look for someone. Prophetess. Thank you. I know I'm not the easiest person to get along with, but this means a lot to me. Give me ten minutes, will you? Take a look around, do what you will, but be careful. All right, I'll meet, uh, meet you here in ten minutes. Like, real game 10 minutes? Pro tip, Dalmaric is the name of the dude who left half of Enderal magically blighted. To the point where no one lives there. Thought that sounded familiar? Or, wait. Explore the island until Yuzlan comes back, or follow Yuzlan to the house. Let's be nosy. Where's the house? Is that the house? Is that it over there? Why can I even loot things if this is a different seven things? If this is like a different reality and in like 10 minutes things are going to things are going to just disappear. Why can I take things from this reality into mine? And they would just disappear, right? Reality would correct itself. Under these rules. Where's the house? If I just happen upon it and I didn't... If I didn't follow him, then... <laughs> I liked it. What do you think, love? It was magnificent. We'll make a great bard out of you yet. Really? Really. And you know what? Because you did so well, I'll tell you a secret. What is it? It's a secret where I can only tell you and not Mommy. Come over here and I'll tell you. Hey, that's not fair. Nothing in the world is fair, love. So, Princess, what do you say? Uh, okay. Just a little closer. Shit. The tickle monster is hungry again. <laughs> ah, the, you're lame. You too. That was lame. Do you want to know another secret? The little princess is way past her bedtime already, and she knows. Dude, it because I have told her before. Dude, it's like freaking. All right, all right. It's daytime. <laughs> let's send her to bed. Time really does. Just because it's 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 freaking daytime, let's send her to bed. I'll finish the letter, okay? You go upstairs and get some sleep. You've earned it. Okay. Don't be too long, all right? Don't worry, I won't. Hey, I love you. I love you too, Mary. Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. 
I ran. I ran. He'll never know. He'll never know that I was there. Oh, look at this house that I am just now coming upon. Hey, look at that. See, he, he can't tell. You just had to do it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Our time is running out. Don't you feel it? The fever? Yes. Yes, I do. Uslan, what are you doing? We need to get out of here. Uh -huh. What? You'll die. Something I don't know. My daughter. And my wife. Naya. The man that world out there made me into. I never wanted to be like him. All I wanted was to live a normal life. Like the Juzlan of this world gets to it. Okay. But that's just the way of things. The world doesn't care what you want. It decides. We and yours. Uh, what was it? Oh, rhetorics is definitely not gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to hang myself outside of my daughter's, my daughter's bedroom window and wait for myself to perish. And she will wake up in the morning afternoon <laughs> and see my body. She will remember me for all time. Well, I don't, I kind of want to just see, say like, okay, peace. I don't even remember this guy. Maybe there's more to do with him in the stuff that I skipped, but. Eh, let's go with this one. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. Incapacitate Yuzlan. Are you just gonna straight kill him? You scared. Naya, did you hear that? It's come on. Never mind. Alright, come on. Probably just the wind. This is not the easiest. Oh, there's an ice claw over there. <laughs> I got him by his wiener. I'm hoisting him in the air by his wiener. Is it a real timer? Was the timer counting down while I was in dialogue? Because I was wasting a lot of time in dialogue. Raise him high. I'm looking up your skirt, Yuzlon. Oh no, I dropped him. Telekinesis. Doesn't count. Mm. 
you Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can't have fun with him at all. Oh, look at the little angel. He's sleeping. I got no strength to hold me down. Look at this little wooden boy. I don't know why I can never remember that song. I can... Yeah. It's a uh, Pinocchio. <laughs> the the animated Disney film Pinocchio. Look at him. Doesn't he just kind of like the I got no strength to hold me down to make me fret or make me down frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. Oops. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, I can do it. Throw him in. If only I would have, you know, checked him first. Because <sighs> apparently I didn't actually have to do that. You just have to click on him. And then hit the option that says carry him back to the portal and leave. You're all right. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. The thought of your wife's finger. That's what got into you. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
glad that you came back to your senses. He's totally c gonna commit toaster bath later. Their voices are simply too much to bear. I must ask your forgiveness. Let's check more. Why are you still talking to her? What? Just return. There's nothing to forgive. If it hadn't been for our mission, I wouldn't have intervened. Ah. I am grateful that you saved me. Oh, now he's the I'm dude who talks here, to I dead chicks. Would have been the wrong choice. Still, I don't regret doing what we did. It showed me something. More. More animal crackers. Thank you again. Here, this is the least I can give you for your efforts. I will see you back at the temple. There's a lot that needs doing. You know, I kind of hate the phrase, it's the least I could do. Because the least you could do is always nothing. And people usually use that phrase after they have already given you something or done something for you. The least that anyone can ever do for you is nothing. So giving me all those potions and that money is not the least he could do. Hmm. Alright, so... Uh, that's, that's a negative way of thinking about things. <laughs> I, I guess I was thinking of it in a more... A more, uh... Generous light than that. It's like, I, I wish I could give more, is what I was kind of feeling that the, the phrase would denote, but now I don't know if I, if I will ever think that way again. It's like, oh, you, you could do more, huh? Uh, I'm kind of surprised that this one isn't done, but since I've already done it, I'm not going to do it. I don't think I finished that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Forgotten Homeland. Okay. Let us do. You're a fan of a token of my appreciation. It implies that you've done something that you can't truly repay, but he wants to make an effort to ensure you understand how thankfully I like that one too. <sighs> Back to Kirby's game. Come get me. Just, just leave. I'm not even no. I didn't even notice that you were there, flesh maggot sufferer. Of course, you can, you know, change appreciation to thanks, and it works just as well. Token of my thanks. Token of my appreciation. Guess how can I help you? I mean, what? Who is the flesh maggot here? It is not me. 
I am not this flesh maggot of which you speak. I wonder if flesh maggots are like carrion crawlers. Or corpse worms. You are expected. Corpse worms. Corpse worms. Excellent. Party on. Good. And on their way back, the others will be able to steer the ship without you, correct? Yes. They won't be steering anything, to be precise. Because Gertrude flies on her own as soon as the coordinates have been set. He thanks you, dear Lord Aranthio. Any other Grand Master would have laughed at him, but you have listened instead. Now he will be the first of his people to meet the Ancient Fathers. It... it is hard to believe that. Walk blessed, and all the best for your fight. Thank you. The others are expecting you. Ah, and there's one more thing. This amulet belonged to my son. I want you to have it. Wear it or not, the choice is yours. Now leave, and do not disappoint me. What'd you give me, father? Cooldown of talents is reduced by 20%. That's pretty good. Hmm? The last passenger has arrived. That is a pleasure. Wow. I do not care for that voice. Welcome aboard. How are things going? Are you ready? Are you ready? Well then. And that, aboard, how they say, the is that. She's taking off. It's not even this. It's not even close to the same voice. And there we go. I don't know why you good. just reminded me of Very that. Good. How does he enter a coordinates into a steering wheel? How does he enter coordinates into a steering wheel while looking the opposite direction? He types it into a leather panel. <laughs> the leather buttons. Ew. Why does that sound weird? Why does that sound gross? Leather button. That's. I think that's what I'm going to start calling my wiener. Is a leather button. Two Souls Part 5. Find Kalia on the airship. Well, sadly, uh, well, I don't need that save anymore. Sadly, I have to jump off of this if I can. <laughs> oh, no! I hit the water. Find Kalia or go to sleep. I gotta find my girl Kalia. Yo, Wiz Kalia. What am what what why why huh what? Why am I not wearing my stuff? Weird, but okay. Sierra, how are? <sighs> okay, let's just skip the small talk. I was never good at that. I wanted to see you because there's something I need to show you. Follow me. Titties. I couldn't sleep, so I used the chance to take a look around. The thought that Kermine did this all by himself—it's <sighs> incredible. It would take dozens of Andralian craftsmen at least five years to do this. 
So it's not titties, then. Is it something better? Is it Tum? So, are you ready? <sighs> Alright, flash me. I guess Good. so. Is there a version of this face mod for everyone except Kalia? Well, technically this, her oh, face this could have been different, but I chose to keep it as close to the same as possible. I also could have given her multiple different hairstyles. What do you mean? She still looks, she still looks better than she originally does. Hold on. Got a little of that going on. Uh oh. Oh, she... Okay. You teleported. It's beautiful, don't you think? I could have changed her hair. She might look... She might have looked better with different hair. Yeah. Yeah. She could... She could deal with just a tad more chin. Just a tad. Not too much. But maybe that's also the hairstyle, as I said. Oh, yes. Have a good time at work. It's stunning, In yes. Case, I... He just can't believe it. No, he just can't believe it. That's not what you just said. That's not what those subtitles said. Like the framing of the face could like make be making it look shorter. If I would have given her a different hairstyle then maybe. But I I kind of wanted to keep her as close to the same as possible. Does he have trees in the middle of his ship? Aesthetics. And for a beautiful view. Well, I guess that's still aesthetics, but... Uh, food. And coolness. I don't know. I just keep going back to coolness. Let me guess. We shouldn't be down here. No, quickly, run. you understand he thinks his instructions were clear stay here do nothing but no you decide to run around the ship and open whatever door crosses your path and no don't look at him like that next time there will be consequences what the heck is he talking to this person is busy. Well, hmm. Okay. Saved by the bell, I guess. Yes. <laughs> oh no, the demon's coming out. She gonna stab me? What is it? I, oh, by the name of the sun, I just can't believe it. Here we are on a mission to save mankind, and instead of sharpening our weapons and talking gloomily, we play hide and seek like two little kids who just stole an apple from their neighbor. Are you a thief? That's just Kalia? bizarre, isn't it? I don't cotton the thievery. Well, as far as I know, Gloomy Talk hasn't won any battles yet. No, it hasn't. Uh, anyway, I guess we're safe down here. At least for... Actually, I don't mind. This place... Why is there a campfire here? Serene. 
Easy. You're asking about the rocks and the dirt and the trees and the mushrooms. Why is there just a campfire here? That's true. What happened to you, by the way? You seem different. Do I? In a good or bad way? In a good way. That's good to hear. You know, Sayera, I've been thinking about what happened in the castle and the talk we had after that. I have never stolen not a single thing as this character. <laughs> you can't call me a hypocrite. Not in this save. Not in this save file. Yeah, what's your conclusion? Well, do you remember when I said that I should maybe just give up and accept that I'll never be able to fully control that thing inside me? You told me that I might die. <laughs> That I should maybe just stop trying to control it. I don't first, have to steal nothing because of the money that you had. At first, that made me really angry. It just sounded heartless, even though I know you didn't mean it that way. But then I thought about it and realized there's truth to that. You know, all my life, I've tried to kill that part of me because it made me feel despicable. And every time I failed, I hated myself for it. Oh my god, did she accept her shadow? That was the wrong way to look at it from the Is she going to get a persona? The only way to truly kill it would be to kill myself. And I can't and won't do that. Not now, when there's so much at stake. Nor in the future, if there is one. So, what are you trying to say? That you're just going to let it run free? No, I won't let it harm anyone ever again. But I'll accept that it's a part of me. Why did they double up you, that? Sierra, what good did all the self-loathing ever do? I've been dealt a tough hand, and with that thing and these urges inside of me, I'll never be like the others. I think that's the best, maybe the only way to deal with something like this. Accept it, as despicable as it may be, because it is part of who you are. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not deluding myself. Living with this thing will be something I have to wrestle with for the rest of my life. There will always be moments of weakness when it will try to get the best of me. Use your persona! I will always resist. And I will do so without condemning myself every time it happens. And in the meantime, I will live. I will do all the things that I never allowed myself to do. Build friendships, go see the world, and go dancing. Even if the latter would be a rather amusing sight. Don't forget sneaking around sky ships. Yes, and that. Blue has got a very deep voice. Sounds like a good plan. It does, yes. And it surprises me just how much. I'm not sure if I could have gotten here without you. Your friendship, it means a lot to me. And I hope we'll find this Numinos in the Forgotten City because there are still so many things I want to do after all this is over. You know what? I'll <sighs> I'll introduce you to my brother Reneus. Oh, I should be gone by now, so I think it's safe to go. He's adopted, but you'll stay here. I take it for a while. Yes, as I said, I like this place, and I need some time to sort through my thoughts. Then I'll see you around. You will. Off a werewolf. Wait, what did that say? Did that say objective complete, speak with Kalia? Or something? Every day, like the. <sighs> Don't want to talk to just far. I talked to my girl. Talk to my girl. I don't know if I want to talk to this far. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I did do that, but I just thought it was funny. Oh, wait. Okay, so. 
strange place. So, what... What exactly are my... The things that I have done? Yes. What do you want? D does that count? Does me, like... trying to revive his sister and then her turning into to dust and then me saying I'm gonna go get you a broom and a dustpan so that you can so that you can have time with your sister does that count since I am no longer that character or it's a crazy world isn't it what do you mean on our way to a forgotten city in the clouds and I'm part of it it just sounds surreal but anyway, it's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Do you have a second? Just one second? I wouldn't be here if I didn't, would I? You have a point there. I... How should I put it? I'm not romancing him. You. I'm not sure if you know it, but... All that's happened since I plucked you out of that thicket on the sun coast... It did something to me. Believe in heroes now? I understood something, as corny as it may sound. What? It's hard to put into words. You know, I, I still believe what I told you that time we met at the Dancing Nomad. That we all act as we do because we hope it makes us happy. But somehow, in no small part thanks to my father, I've always considered responsibility and being happy to be contradictory. But actually, that's wrong. It's the exact opposite. In order to be truly content... So it's contradictory. ...connection to a person, to a cause, to anything... If you never find that, you'll never find yourself. You had to kill my sister for me to know that. Well, that's certainly a change in tune compared to what you said in Silver Cloud. We're born alone and we die alone. Yeah, yeah, I said that. And I still think it's true to an extent. You're on your own if you want to be. I'm responsible for what happened to Adila and to Lysia, because I never wanted to be responsible. Sounds strange, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. But I can't change what happened. No, you're you're terrible. I just have to live with that. So what you're essentially saying is we all need something to live for, right? Maybe. Maybe not. In the end, I can only speak for myself. The fact is, though, that it... I don't know. That, that it feels like I owe this world to be right here, right now. As part of something momentous. And I like how that feels. That surprises me. No matter how all this ends, I will have no regrets. And Same goes for our friendship. That's what I wanted to tell you. We're so friends? We got ourselves into. I'm glad that our paths crossed. For whatever reason they did. <laughs> so it's just friends then. The feeling's mutual. Yes. But anyway, enough of this sentimental babble for now. We should probably rest a little. Who knows what awaits us up there? Ah. <sighs> if if the choice comes to to romance anyone of between Jespar and Kalia it, it's gonna be Kalia just think of it death by snoo snoo lie down Like, even if you don't like, like, even if you don't like girls in that way, I think Kalia is just the better option. Because you know she crazy. You know she gonna be crazy in the sack. 
Uh, it was Nameless Soul. She's just gonna go demon mode. Ah, there you are. I was just about to wake you. <laughs> we came across the first of these floating buildings about three oh God, hours ago. I'm... The Valley of Ugh. a Thousand Clouds. Nobody wants it's to be moving on this thing right now. She's not that bad. I'm not moving. We did it! Oh, are we still moving? Still going? Uh, can you stop it? Can you... Can you stop the boat? Can you stop it? Small John McCarran thing going. Alright, come to me. Come to me, quest marker. I kind of think, uh, always thought of it, I didn't see it as a Karen thing, but I see it now. But as you've noticed, it's a little too, well, quiet. I, uh, yeah, the, the original hairstyle was better. What's Kermai's take on this? He must be bursting with excitement. He was at first, yes. But he's grown more distant the closer we've gotten. Let's just hope for the best. And this massive tower in the middle? It's where we're going to look for Numenos, isn't it? Correct, yes. The Nexus Tower. Oh, by Malthus, it's a pity we don't have the time to explore this place more thoroughly. Just imagine we have a how week much to get back. is hidden in each one of these stones. It's incredible. Maybe we can come back here one day, once we've stopped the cleansing. The city doesn't look very lively. It's not supposed to be like this, is it? No, not at all. But who knows? Maybe it's as the Starling says, and we'll be surprised. Do you know something I don't about Numinos? Well, first of all, let us take a look at it up close, then we'll see. <sighs> Still, no one. That must mean something, right? Our original he will find them and they will Her original haircut made me think that maybe she just didn't style it and kept it short because she's a fighter. That's not good at all. Come on, we have to follow him. Starting scene did not contain happy fun times after mentioning Numinos. Something something energy container, something something everything going wrong. Huh. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, but you're not getting it just far. Let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Somebody must have built this place, and somehow the maps which led us here have ended up in the hands of the Starling. You ain't getting my cooter! Whoever was capable of creating something like this must all Welcome back! Known things. Let's just wait and see. Kalia gets my cooter. Do I recall the opening cutscene thing? Oh, okay. This is where all the dead bodies was, right? No, wait, I walked through that in the beginning of the game. Isn't happening. Kumai. 
Yes. Yes. He is here. He is, he is short. It was a mistake to come here. This place is dead, and the ancient fathers died with it. Very poetic, pal, but now you're overdoing it. Who says they're dead? Maybe your ancient fathers just mm, left to someplace else. Ah! Uh, yes. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, sure uh, oh my god! Look, I am sorry uh, this place isn't what you had hoped it would be. I really am. But Dalveric is right. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. And despair won't help you either. We should inspect this place before deciding anything. Don't you agree? Ah. Ah. The only question is how to get inside. Leave that to me because I'm the player character. Breaking this gate open. Splendid idea, boy. Do you have a battering ram with you? Myrid size, preferably. <sighs> this place must have a side entrance. Kermine? Yes, probably. Well, then let's go look for it. Have Kalia and Jespar ever had a conversation? Karish, you accompany Kermai and take a closer look at the area around the docks. Legion and I will examine the eastern part of the city. And you, you and Delveric scout the west. If anyone finds anything, call the west yay? before doing anything else. What are you saying yay no, for? Hey, Kalia, you want to look together under this waterfall? Uh, cool. Hey, that looks like a switch. It's not a switch, it's a rock. <laughs> Jeez. Freaking idiot. Requires key! Forty-seven of one hundred of these. Ah. <sighs> you know... I don't know why I have to do this. But if I see a really tall place, I have to jump off. In video games. Keep going. No. Oh. It's one of my favorite things to do in video games is to just jump off of extremely tall stuff. I especially love it if I can survive the fall at the end of it. Eh. I mean, what does it matter? Holy crap, dude! You've got, like... So many learning points. I should have looked at that earlier. I don't need any of those. Isn't that annoying, just having to run back and forth and keep selling and holding and selling and holding and just doing a bunch of stuff whenever you just want to buy the... You just want to buy your, your, your level up books. You just want to buy your skill books. You just want to eat them. Eat that paper, get strong. But no. No. I think if there is one thing that that I actually dislike about Enderall, it is the fact that you need money in order to upgrade. That is like the one thing that I don't care for. Keep 
fast traveling so that they'd have so like they would like restock their stuff and get money oh I have to take the iron ore for bugging me specifically for you don't want anything else in there except the iron ore Like, I like the music in Enderall. I like the story of Enderall. I like the explanation for how magic works. I like the uh, abilities that you can get. Oh, my God. I'm hungry. How do I... What the hell, man? Why is jumping so terrible in this game, though? Okay, there we go. With a better economy, it'd be less crap. But with every merchant in Enderall having less gold than a set of five master books cost, it gets to be clunky. Yeah. I actually saw a mod that I, I chose not to get that that is specifically for Enderall that changes the cost of skill books so it kind of makes it a little bit more like more gradual instead of going from like a hundred pennies to like a thousand pennies let's just hope the architects of this place didn't take their knowledge with them to the grave or wherever they are now this is going to be interesting that's for sure come on you go ahead i'll be right behind you can I open it now or something? Breathtaking, isn't it? Breathtaking, isn't it? You're not getting my cooter just bar. Yeah. Yeah, that would, it would help, but I just decided not to, you know. I was told to explore the other way with Jispar. I just wanted to explore, and I was not paying attention to what they were telling me to do. It just says find a side entrance for the Nexus Tower. I don't have to explore with Jispar. I don't have to explore with him. I don't have to explore with him. I can do it on my own. Are you following me? Come on, mister, can lockpick doors that need keys? So am I a legit lady, or is this a character thing I'm doing? Hey. I ruined... Like I ruined my game and all of my saves. So Brewhawk was nice enough to send me his save file Traps? and hmm. well then Kermai, you the prophetess Salveric and I will go inside we and so I am now a lady because his character was a lady if we haven't returned or if you haven't heard from us within 12 hours you're to take the ship back to Ark understood Understood. Then let's be off. I'm going to? Okay, yeah, I'm going to. No, I'm I'm actual I'm an actual lady. I even took off my armor and showed you my baps. But I don't think you noticed. <laughs> Look, it's a wiener and testicles because everything is, right? <laughs> oh no, Freudian slip. <laughs> it's just that. 
It's just that diddly bits are, are funny. They're so funny. Everyone's got funny diddly bits. And so it's it it's easy to see them in in things. I wanna go that way. I don't wanna go down there yet. It's over here. Marksman. Yeah, right. <gasps> Learning book one memory point. Learning book one, memory point. Boop. I forgot I have two memory points. Already unlocked. Yeah, boy. I don't care about shield, but... I do like the, th the thought of not being staggered. No, I don't use shield. I don't use them. Boo, 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 boo. Going to alchemy for potions, selling, and and getting all of that is, now that I'm thinking it, probably better than, is this the first lock you've ever picked? What are these for? I don't want, uh, get, uh, uh. out of my jank wait you have different hair now your hair was buzzed before oh but I was gonna say that I feel like being able to sell uh, potions instead of doing like a ton of rhetoric like I did is probably is that does that feel like that is faster or do both would be both would be like super fast to get money let's see hmm this is starling script but it's different blazes can you take a blazes <sighs> of course that's very uh, all right yes these are the directions to the left is the shurai which roughly means workshop the right isn't shurai the living quarters he thinks the shurai will lead us to the top of it, it's not that it gives you the merchants more coin it's just that your potions would sell for more you know sure I is like the the name of the the studio who made this right how many people work on this oh no Arcane fever. Forgot about it.
this. Good potion, good potion. I also don't care for arcane fever. I'll say that. It's just one of those things that I do not like. Is a meter that if it goes up, you you die. Hmm. Got them punchers out, huh? You got them the meat meat cudgels. I got a meat cudgel right here for it. If anybody comes at me. Yeah. Like, make it... Make it something that you have to avoid. Hmm. I suppose this is where the council but held their meetings, isn't it? Not being able to use healing magic is... Where is it? What the heck? It's kind of... Kind of awful. <sighs> Wonderful. We need to find him. Let's Heck, I would even prefer, like, mana to not automatically regen. And, and you, like, have to find some kind of armor piece to regen your, your mana and stuff. Because I, I get why they wanted to do it. They didn't want people to be, like able to spam heals for free and not need to eat food but still no you just got to find a piece like an, an armor piece to like a necklace or something to to regen your mana and then you're good but i it makes me not want to use healing spells at all is the problem nothing Nothing. Nothing. Like, it, 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 there's just a, a problem with my brain. If there is any downside, then I don't want to use it most of the time. So. Found a lever. It won't let me use it. Are you following me? Can I use it now that you're here? Any luck? No, but this lift looks as if it had been used recently. True, but why does this pal just run off like that? That's just plain stupid. I couldn't agree more, but at least now we have a trail. Let's see if the lever still works. I'm hungry. Yeah, you do it. Let the old lady do it. There you go. Then let's see where that leads us. All right, up we go then. Is no one going to get the lever? <laughs> what the heck, man? Are you serious? I had to walk all the way over here. Take that, rat. Yeah, I think this is my 
favorite. I think this is my favorite spell. Of the, the psionics. Psychosis is my favorite spell of psionics. Jeez, man. What? 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 Haven't had enough yet? As you wish. Man, I'll just let them do it. Why do I even need to help? Ah, wall. Ah, just bar. Getting in front of my psychosis blasts. Now. <sighs> Let's take a look around. He must have gone somewhere. Find a way out of the dead end. Alright, well, uh... No! Oh! Going up here. Nope. The puzzles. 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 Is it the palm tree? Does the palm tree have some way out? What? <laughs> Come on. There's, there's something in here, right? Some stand on. That's that's got to be like an elevator up there. Look at it. Look at it. It's definitely a friggin' friggin' fragging Hello. Nothing? Don't got nothing to say, huh? There has to be a way forth. Let's look around. They really like to hide these things super good. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. That's what I call well hidden. Okay, it's not an elevator, but come on. Jesus. Uh. I'm so bad at finding things. I looked for a chain and I'm as a thing, I'm I'm getting caught on the looking down. Whenever people are, are looking for stuff, they tend to look down. Even if they're looking for people. You know? And it, it makes me not... Whoa. Makes me not look up. I'm glad that I looked up right there. <sighs> so disappointing whenever you finally look up and there it is. Hermit, what is this place, Magistra? Can you read the glyphs? I'll try. I wonder if I can change the color of hmm. Tower of, of Mage Light. That should be it. And make them into companions, so that you always have a Mage Light, but you don't have to cast it. What are these crystals? Good question. They look like energy sources, don't they? The same as the Pyreans used. And that power, it's immense. 
Tower of Memories. That sounds familiar. That a really glowy phantasm? Uh, well... Yeah, but there was a reason that I wanted to make them mage lights. I was basically gonna, like, make them fairies. You know? And then you could have a fairy companion. And depending on the color it, it shown was, like, its class. Uh, Tower of Memories, that sounds like the Starling version of the Chronicum to me. A place to gather knowledge. That's just what we need, isn't it? You just get to sit in a chair all night and watch the remodel people? Huh. And get paid for it? Blazes, so you're the supervisor. By Malthus. Yes. Yes. We got lucky. The prophetess was Where right. are you, Master Yela? This is an archive. The archive, to be precise. The gathered memories of the ancient starlings. They don't seem to have memorized a lot, then. I found her. We'll see about that. There Come. she is. And now... Because I was gonna make it, like... Kind of like Diablo-esque. So I want it to be really, really dark. But I don't want people to have to use uh, light spells or torches. Oh, Magistra. I'm guessing a word of warning would have killed mm -hmm. the drama. One moment. Ah, here. I mean, you can use a torch if you want. Whoa. That's messing with my eyes. The Starling prophecies were right. The ancient fathers have lived in this place for eras, maybe eons. And throughout the years, they have documented the rise and fall So having a little ball of light fairy companion to, to help light your your way and help like shoot or do magic or like beat the crap out of people. Uh, I, f I felt like that would be helpful just gotta make sure no one without a tag walks in and anyone with items must provide a receipt if they aren't tools oh you're the greeter you're the ch receipt checker okay wait did you just say the starlings have been up here since before the pyrians correct and they witnessed all of it their creation their bloom and their downfall the same goes for many, many cultures that were before them. But now that it's our turn in the cycle, they've disappeared. Why? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? But I fear we have no time to wonder about that. At least not for the moment. But if the ancient starlings have lived here for so long, that means the cleansing somehow couldn't harm them. Correct. And yet, they never helped any of the civilizations that were extinguished by it. Hmm. Where did that die? <sighs> Who knows? Maybe their hands were tied somehow. Why make me look this way? It's a pretty poor excuse for them. Or they didn't want to get involved for some reason. Or that. But that's just speculation. What we do know is that neither the Red Madness, the High Ones, nor the Cleansing could harm them, and that their knowledge might be the key to completing the beacon. Next, would you look at that? Welcome to the memories of the Ancient Fathers. Let's see what we can learn from it. Why is this? Master was right about this. The Pyrian history should perfectly reflect the different Why is that? phases of the cycle, including the Cleansing. Why do I... Why did you equip that to me? What was she saying? There was a bird running around. It's 
it's the old one? The old bird? Hey, it's cavemans! Huh? Huh? Nothing, life forms itself, and from that life, man evolves and starts populating the earth. Mm. Am I supposed to be looking at these in order? The sixth step, the cycle okay, never mind. concludes, the cleansing happens, and mankind vanishes just like that. Okay, they're in order. Temple in the background. This must be the temple in the city of a thousand floods, the heart of the Pyrian realm. The second step of the cycle, just as the Grandmaster said, a first civilization arises, blossoms, and falls. For us, it was a Sadaron's reign of the Eterna, which collapsed after Starfall. Who knows what it was in the age of the Pyrian? Okay. I try to be positive. I ch I try to to not come down on people. Uh I know it probably doesn't seem like that by the fact that I come down on people all the time. This lady's voice acting is just it's just not good. That's let me see. Creation of a theocracy. After the first civilization falls, a second one arises that is reigned over by a few who proclaim themselves gods. Do you see the hats? These were the sun priests of the Pyrian realm, the equivalent of our lightborn. I'm, I'm trying to think of some constructive criticism, but I'm just I'm unable to at the moment. That's step number four: the downfall of the rulers. For us, it was the Shadow God and Maratzel Renthil who killed the Lightborn. In the Pyrian Age, it was this general, Kakal. He was a member of one of the reigning castes himself, but one day he turned against them. He was the Pyrian Shadow God and the Pyrian Terranor Korak all in one, so to speak. The chaos, the war, the red madness. This is the fifth step where we are right now. Do you see this shape in the background? This must be the high ones who are behind all of it. She doesn't even sound unpleasant to me. She just sounds And after the sixth step, it all starts over. So this is the final proof. Everything that has happened to the pirates. She sounds like she doesn't care to, to while delivering these lines. Is now happening to us. We knew that already. How exactly does that help us find the Numinos? That's the question, but by the gods. What? Mankind. It ascends to the sky. To the high ones. <sighs> Mankind doesn't oh, yeah. vanish at the end of a cycle. It becomes a high one. What? That is how they reproduce. How they feed, or whatever you wish to call it. Don't you see? These shapes that ascend skywards. Their thoughts our consciousness, our souls, and all of them together form a new High One. So you're saying what a High One really is, is the consciousness of an entire civilization? Yes, it's our memories, our thoughts. You really put thoughts, that together through, through looking at this? collective consciousness. This, this is monstrous. The, so doesn't that mean that the... What, what was it, the Naram, Naram dude? The Naramese dude who's, like, trying to, like, siege and stop us from stopping the cleansing? Doesn't that kind of mean that he's right? <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, everybody dies still, but they become a high one, and that... Wasn't that what he th thinks happens? So that's what the cleansing really is. The 
Creation of a new high one from a civilization? Yes. Yes, by the righteous path, that's it. Quarek is right, in a way. I don't see Mass Effect parallels because I've never played Mass Effect. Because it becomes well, I played a little bit of the first and second one. And I, I didn't like it. <laughs> Played like ten minutes of the of the set of the first one, and I played like an hour of the second one, and I just thought it was boring, and I I didn't care about anything that was happening story wise, so I was leaning all on gameplay and how combat was, and I hated the combat. But even knowing all that, it still doesn't help us. We still don't know what the this Numinos is. Oh yes, we do. The word of the dead. You said the aged man left it for you, didn't you? Yes, why? Then this is the way. The Numinos. I know what it is. Or rather, what we need to fill it with. The essence of a high one. The essence of a high one? What makes you think that? It's hard to explain. The problem with the high ones is that they don't have a physical shape. And this makes it hard to fight them. They are everywhere and nowhere, just like the air. This is why we need the beacon to fight it. It has the power to banish them. Because it is the counterpart to the High Ones, that's old news. But what makes you think the High Ones' essence is what the Numinos needs to be filled with? It's an assumption, but a well-grounded one. What the beacon does is channel massive amounts of energy and unleash it on its core. Isn't it logical, then, that we need something of what we want to banish? Like an energy signature inside it. It might sound far-fetched to you, but it feels right. It feels right is hardly a good basis upon which to make such an important decision. You're correct. It is not. But I don't see that we have any alternatives. Do you? All right, then, even if this is true, how in blazes are we supposed to get our hands on the essence of a high one? Well, this is where it gets complicated, but I think I also have an answer to that. The word of the dead. We need to use it on a high one to enter its mind. If there is any place we can find the high one's essence, it is there. I mean, technically they are dead, Jeez. right? Now all we have to do is find a high one who allows us to use the word of the dead on him. Should be an easy task, considering that they've already been so cooperative. That is correct. But Why are you not here? <laughs> and where's that? Where the last cleansing took place. That is where we need to go. And once we are there, you need to listen to the echo. Of course, but you can see what happened. Since the high ones now. are immaterial, correct? The echo grants you the ability to feel and relive the memories of this world. <laughs> what just happened? This means that we have to find the holy city of the Pyreans. Where the last cleansing took place, the city of floods. Yes, but we just learned that devouring us is what allows the High Ones to create a new one of their own. In other words, death is what a High One consists of. Yeah, it's kind it's of. It's a okay. giant sentient and ethereal corpse in a way. I mean, that's what I, I the said. the the dead doesn't work on them, it shouldn't work on anything. At least, that is one way to see it. Let us hope I'm right. If you have a high one to use the word of the dead on, you have a high one. <laughs> and where are we supposed to find this city of floods? Well, I hope this Underwater? will help us find the answer. If the ancient starlings witnessed the entire cycle of the Pyreans, then they surely knew a lot about the geography of the world as it was back then as well. We need to keep searching. Come, let us go back to the tower. Can you, you force me to walk toward the bird? of an entire civilization. If I didn't know that all this was actually happening, I'd say that someone had one drink too many. It just sounds so bizarre. Is it? Don't we ourselves breed pigs so that we may eat them once they are fat enough? In a way, the high ones are just like us, except that it's our thoughts that they are after rather than our bodies. It bears a certain kind of logic. You cannot deny that. Oh, yes, totally. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny about all this? 
Knowing the Korak story about mankind ascending isn't as stupid as it first sounded. We don't cease to exist, no. We live happily ever after, united into a high one. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Yes, but is this new high one really us? Or does it just need us to come forth? Yes, we know now that this is how they reproduce. But we still know far too little. How did they come into being? How long has this been going on? So many questions. Indeed. But how does the saying go? First kill the predator, then ponder its motivations. You're a man of great wisdom, my Sir Delveric. It's a shame I will have to kill well, you because of it. See what come I? They are here. They have been here all along. Kermai, where by the righteous path were you? He was a fool to bring you here. You soil born are too dangerous. You've always been. But he was too blinded, blinded by his dream to finally finish her and sail home. I don't like this, Magister. What are you talking about? My, the fact that the ancient starlings left this city doesn't have anything to do with us. Stop have... talking! Darn it, you are so ignorant! They are here, but they won't reveal themselves to us because they don't accept your presence! Because you are unworthy of them! Kermai, this place has been deserted for centuries. You're rationalizing, don't you see? He rationalizes? What do you take him for? A fool! Y if you would just listen for once in your life, you'd hear them. They're everywhere. He You're like the high ones talking to you. Them. He will show that he deserves to live among them. The soil born have to die, and then the fathers will reveal themselves. But how? Kermai, stop this. Right now. The defense system, of course. Yeah, they 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 were they were druids, they were they were nature lovers. Understand. Two arms. Really? Said two arms and there's nothing happening. Okay. Uh, not a fan of that boss fight. Because there was not one there. Do I get to fight it later? Do I get to fight a lightning dragon later? Because that was cool. If it is one, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I looked up and everything. I, was I, all of them, I, think. I just thought it was the wall was shooting. The question of what the heck happened up there? The poor magistra, she... She didn't deserve that. Did she get hit? I couldn't see her. She was invisible. Kermai seems to have activated some kind of alarm. These machines, they must have been designed to defend the city. Yeah, that makes sense. But what now? We need that map to find the city of a thousand floods. Or whatever they call it. Uh, and getting out of this place alive wouldn't be too bad either. What about the airship? We need to warn Kalia and Lijan. Right, we do. That means back by the dock. Come on, let's get back to the elevator. Damn it. So much for 
that. Never fails. Never fails. These things are gonna ruin every scene. So we need to find another way back down. So, let's look around. Uh, and what if I was to pull this chain? Doesn't make it go to the left. Doesn't make it go down. Down to the left. No, don't touch it. Don't even touch it. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe head. Head. Okay. Looking for chains, looking for levers. Looking for something I can pull or flip. Pull and or flip. Man, I don't I don't know where it came from, but I am Super duper hungry. Is that a, a, not a stepping stone rock? It's not a stepping stone rock. That's fine. That's okay. Whatever. I have no clue. Blue, blue, empty. On there. If I step on that. If I, is there anything in here? Besides these spears that are just going in and out of the wall. <sighs> if I climb through one of these things. What if I pull this chain over here? Nothing happens. That's for sure. Do you... I think that I have proven time and time again that I am too freaking blind for this. Not that I can't see that I'm unable to find. Unable. Sassy Apple. Thank you for the follow. And welcome. Welcome to me not knowing what to do because I can never find freaking chains or buttons. Oh, I tried. I tried pulling this chain over here. It doesn't work. I've got to find a way to go down. Chain on the other side of no. Come on, come on! I want to find the the thing before. Right here. Right, right here. I want to find it before... Before I end tonight. Oh my god. If, if I'm stuck in here for too long... Will just bar just... Just do it. Oh my god. Hmm. That looks good. Let's hope it also leads us down to the tower. What'd you do? 
what opened. Oh, that opened. It's so easy for them to hide things. They're probably like, oh man, this will be pretty easy for people to find. And, and then I come in and I'm just looking around like crazy. Not finding nothing. Not an ethically placed lever. Oh. I mean, it, it, it's not... Is it as bad as the treasure hunt in the orphanage? That's ridiculous. Lever was placed by Satan's bomb. But without any trace of magic. That's just scary. Man, I that that those hidden treasures were in that orphanage were man. That's the best I got to explain that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <sighs> they were so hard to find. All right. Yeah. <sighs> I was just saying that the nose lever wasn't as bad as those, but they're all bad. Screw it. All of them suck. Even the plane to see chain that you can pull down. Just because I missed it. Anyway, that is going to be the end for tonight. Uh, I thank you all for joining me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Shout out to Brewhark one more time for, for saving the stream by uh by giving me his save file and i hope you all have a good night <laughs>